The first skilling plan we have is all about running large data engineering workflows. This one is designed to teach the essential skills needed for working with data in Azure Databricks, with things like managing and transforming data using Apache Spark, Delta Lake, and SQL warehouses. It also teaches you about building and automating pipelines with Delta Live tables, workflows, and Azure Data Factory. Welcome back to the Azure Central Show. I'm your host, Aaron Stark. And for today's episode, we're going to be diving into Azure Databricks and showcasing some great skilling opportunities to help you get hands-on learning. I'm joined today by my colleagues, Jason Pereira and Heather Shook. Jason, Heather, great to have you both here. Thanks for having me, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. I'm excited to be here. Me as well. Now, Jason, let's start with the basics. For anyone who might not be familiar with Azure Databricks, can you tell us what it is and how it fits into the larger Azure ecosystem? Sure, Aaron. Azure Databricks is a unified open analytics platform for building, deploying, and managing data and AI solutions at scale. It's fully managed, and it's scalable, secure, and enterprise ready. As a first-party service from Microsoft, jointly developed with Databricks, it's deeply integrated with the broader Microsoft solution ecosystem. Customers benefit from this close partnership through deep optimizations, unified billing and support, performance boosts, and seamless integration across the Microsoft stack, all of which drive efficiency and innovation. And because of that tight collaboration, new innovations are available in Azure Databricks as soon as they launch. So customers always have the access to the best and latest capabilities in data and AI. Got it, okay. It definitely sounds like there's a lot of value packed into the platform. Can you walk us through how Azure Databricks helps organizations tackle real world challenges? Absolutely. One of the biggest challenges we see today is fragmented data. Both structured and unstructured data spread across cloud services, siloed systems, and legacy platforms. This makes it hard to extract insights at scale. Azure Databricks brings all of that data together in an open government lakehouse platform. It natively supports Delta Lake, integrates seamlessly with Azure Data Lake storage, and other data sources as well. That means customers can unify their data from all kinds of environments, whether it be cloud, on-prem, even industry-specific platforms, and use it in a single powerful analytics and AI workflow. You also get native integrations with tools like Microsoft Fabric, which includes Power BI, as well as Entra ID and Azure AI Foundry, which makes it easy to visualize insights, manage access and governance, and scale AI fast. Okay, got it. And I can see how unifying all of that data doesn't just cut down on costs and complexity. It also lays the foundation for building AI solutions. So now can you tell us a little bit more about how Azure Databricks helps teams get their data ready for AI? That's a great question, Aaron. As we like to say, your AI is only as good as your data. Azure Databricks helps with everything from preparing and transforming data to managing pipelines and building models. It includes a Mosaic AI stack, which supports data engineering, data science, and AI development in one cohesive environment. You also get features like Lakeflow declarative pipelines, which automate data pipeline management and improve data quality end-to-end. -end. All of this accelerates innovation in the era of AI by helping teams spend less time managing infrastructure and more time solving business problems with AI. Okay, that's huge, especially for teams trying to move fast without sacrificing any kind of quality. You've touched a few times on enterprise needs, but I'm also curious about governance and security. How does Azure Databricks help organizations manage data responsibly? For sure, Aaron. Uh, governance and security are key areas of focus in Azure Databricks, especially for enterprises. The platform includes Unity Catalog, which provides centralized management of metadata, access policies, data lineage, and data quality. That gives you end-to-end -end visibility and control over your data, whether it's in your lake house, flowing through pipelines, or being used to generate insights. It also ensures that your data is discoverable, trustworthy, and compliant with whatever regulatory or internal standards you need to meet. Got it. OK, that's a super helpful overview. Um, thank you so much for that, Jason. Now, Heather, I'd like to hear your perspective on skilling. 
With everything moving so quickly in the world of AI and data, it feels important now more than ever for data professionals to stay sharp and up to date. Do you have any guidance on how people can grow their expertise with Azure Databricks? Absolutely. As mentioned earlier, data is the fuel for AI, so it's really critical for professionals to keep pace with the evolving tools and workflows available. That's why Microsoft has created skilling plans for Azure Databricks. These are structured learning journeys designed to help you build practical knowledge over time. Each one is milestone-based, helping you progress from foundational understanding to more advanced concepts at your own pace. That sounds like a great way to support learners at different experience levels. Can you walk us through how some of those skilling plans uh, work and what they cover and who they're for? Absolutely. The first skilling plan we have is all about running large data engineering workflows. This one is designed to teach the essential skills needed for working with data in Azure Databricks, with things like managing and transforming data using Apache Spark, Delta Lake, and SQL warehouses. It also teaches you about building and automating pipelines with Delta Live tables, workflows, and Azure Data Factory. The goal here is to help you feel confident working with modern tools to manage large-scale data workloads efficiently. Got it. And I feel like I understand that better now. Can you share another example, maybe one that focuses more on AI scenarios? Absolutely. We have another skilling plan that's specifically designed to help professionals use Azure Databricks to power AI solutions. This one walks you through how to prepare and transform data for AI use cases, how to implement data pipelines that feed into your machine learning models. It also covers best practices for deploying and managing those models, including technologies like fine tuning large language models and implementing RAG solutions. This skilling plan is a really solid way to build practical expertise with Azure Databricks, whether you're a data engineer, data scientist, or someone just working at the intersection of data and AI. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, those are two great resources, depending on where you want to grow your skills. Um, so where should people go if they want to jump into these skilling plans right away? I would say check out the episode description. Uh, this is where you're going to find the direct links to the skilling plans I mentioned and other helpful resources to get you going. Oh, perfect. Jason and Heather, this has been a super helpful conversation about Azure Databricks. Thank you both again for joining us today and sharing all these wonderful learning resources. Thanks, Sarah. This was great. Thanks for having us. And thanks to everyone watching. Like Heather said, you'll find links to all the resources we covered in today's episode in the description below. And don't forget to leave your feedback and give us a like and subscribe to the show so you don't miss out on any future episodes. We'll see you on the next time on the Azure Essential Show.